Matt. Uh, I guess I want to know uh, what you did to prepare for the mission. Well, um, when I was accepted to the astronaut uh, corps, I spent about two and a half years as an astronaut candidate, uh, just training in the basic skills required to, to be able to be eligible for a, a mission. Um, and once I was assigned to this mission, I spent another two and a half years training specifically for this mission, learning the Russian language, uh, space station systems, how to do spacewalks and robotic arm training, all the things that I would need uh, for, for uh, this particular mission. So in all, for, to, to get up here where I am today was about a five-year training flow. And that was spent not only at uh, Johnson Space Center, but with our international partners all over the world, Japan, Canada, in Europe, and in Russia. So it, uh, it's been a tremendous experience. Do you guys have internet on uh, the spacecraft? <laughs> no, because you guys got Instagram, you got Facebooks. What's your handle? Uh, yeah, we do have internet. It's uh, a little slow, but it's workable. And uh, yeah, it's a great capability uh, to communicate, uh, you know, for things like social media, but also email. And my name on Instagram, uh, which is the same on Twitter, is Station CDR Kelly. My question is, what do you miss most about being on Earth? The ability to just kind of go outside, to, to go where you want to go, hop in your car um, and, and go out to eat or to um, just go out for a walk uh, with the family, I think is something that, uh, that I do miss that I, I guess I didn't really think that would be, um, that I would miss that much with all of the things that uh, we have the ability to do up here. Being in space for this length of time, are there any punch-ups or anything like that? Or are you prepared to be in close quarters with everyone else? No, not, I've never encountered that kind of thing. You know, NASA and their international partners do a pretty good job in vetting the people that they send up here, and we're, you know, all pretty, I think, easy to get along with, especially in this environment. You know, those things do happen. I've heard, you know, stories of them happening, but I've never experienced it personally. Hello, Commander. Uh, I just wanted to know, were you a kid that wanted to be an astronaut, or did it happen for you later? You know, I did, but I grew up in the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area, so I also wanted to play baseball for the Mets and football for the Giants. Um, so, yeah, I, I did, but it was one of those goals that I never thought I would actually, you know, achieve or be in a position where I could, uh, you know, even be competitive. So it wasn't until later in life I was in the Navy as a Navy test pilot that uh, I decided to apply and was fortunate enough to get selected. Hey Scott Kelly, I've heard so much about you from this lady right here. All good, thanks. But one thing that I'm really, really curious about, I'm, I'm hoping you can help me out here, what is the infamous task that a pilot has to do on a shuttle mission? I'm really curious about this, so if you could enlighten me, that would be great. I think what Tracy is probably joking about by asking that question and talking about is the fact that the the pilot of the space shuttle is responsible for the uh, the maintenance of the the toilet on the space shuttle and uh, you know that might be funny to her but the reason they they uh, have the pilot do that is it's such a critical task because without a toilet you know you're not going anywhere so they will only entrust that to the most talented and capable person on a spacecraft. <laughs> okay, let's do the math. I gotta figure out how to grow four years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. But if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA, none of this matters anyway. 